if you're new here. I always introduce what I'm wearing because what I wear is lit. We got some sun action here, but I got, I'm got feeling a little elegant today. So I got my butterfly necklace, my really cute corset top, and look at my skirt. My skirt is a diamond, diamond skirt. So I've been looking at my old videos and photos and I'm like, wow, I look so different. Especially I did a video on how I fix my uneven face video that you guys really enjoy and that was about a year and a half, two years ago now. I have some new things that I've been doing that really changed the way I look for the better. But let's look at all the face changes that I think I went through that requires no surgery. Easy glow up habits that you guys can do. Well the surgery part, well, well I'll get there. And I talked about how I had TMJ before and you can't look up what TMJ is but I have really bad clicking noises even till this day, I have really, my bones are still uneven, you guys. Like, you can't change your bones. Okay, so here is a video that I made about two years ago. And oh my god, this is the photo that I saw. And I'm like, I look so different. This was the phase when I was like, kind of like depressed. Not gonna lie. And I didn't really know what to do. Like, I didn't really know how to like approach my audience again. Because I was kind of like starting new in life. And as you guys can see, I'm doing like experimental makeup that I just don't think look pretty. Too much glitter here. Just, I didn't really know how to do makeup. But as you guys can see before, I had these cheek shadows and obviously I still have them because I have high cheekbones, meaning my cheekbones are kind of protruding out. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I have less shadow on my face now. Now this is going to be a little bit like pseudoscience or superstition kind of stuff, but they say that, you know, I was not happy here and I think it tells on my face. So number one biggest change that I changed was my eyebrows and they say eyebrows change your whole face shape and that's totally true. Look at my eyebrows. My my eyebrows used to be very thick and short. Um, I don't know why I did it like that. I just didn't really know how to do eyebrows. Now, so as you guys can see, it matches from the corner to the other corner. And I think that really makes your face a lot proportioned. Um, it's just proportioned with your eyes. Okay, so the next change that I went through is, obviously you guys know that I had rhinoplasty, my nose shop done. But this was when I had silicone on my nose. And last year, about exactly one year ago, I basically desurgerized, meaning I took off silicone from my nose. This is the part where I say it's kind of not surgery. It kind of is because technically I went under surgery to take it out. But technically I didn't have a surgery to put anything on my face or change my face. I am back to my normal nose bridge now. This is my nose bridge. This is my bone. Some people would tell me that my nose bridge is a lot higher than it should be on my face. And as an Asian, like if you guys are Asian, you'll know that like Asians are like one of the only races that have a low nose bridge. That's what makes us look Asian compared to any other race which is a special thing about us but you know it is true that like we get nose done to get a higher nose bridge to make us look a bit more defined and I liked having a higher nose bridge but now looking back there's a side profile here and I do think that looking back the nose bridge is a bit high for my face because it's unnatural now with my old or normal natural nose bridge um, I think it's a lot proportioned to my face this one is no surgery but technically I've done it so which is lip fillers i got it done actually two years ago that was my first time ever getting my lip fillers done and if you see my old photos my top lips are very short compared to my bottom lips so i remember when i went to get my lip fillers done i i wanted like duck legs i don't know why that that was like trending because of kylie jenner the person who did my lips back then he put a very little on my top lip and none on my bottom lip because he said it has to be proportioned which thank you doctor for convincing me to do that now my lips are a bit more proportioned from top to the bottom i just had a complexion with having thin lips. I haven't got anything done from then, but I still think it's a lot more portioned, which makes my face overall just look more balanced. So I'm gonna teach you guys some self-care tips that I've been doing with massages and things that you could do to really, really enhance and glow up at your face. So number one, I have a lot of different facial tools that I've used before. I used a jade roller before. I use this gold vibrator and then this, this is a life changer. Like my mom loves it so much that she gave it out to all her friends. The second thing you need is good quality and green skincare. I, I actually have changed my skincare to higher quality and higher ingredients and one of my favorite ingredients in skincare is Sika Centella. So the first step that I do is tone my face and the one that I use is by Mevac Sika Toner and this is amazing. And yes, this product was actually sent by Mevac and I'm not saying this because it's sponsored but I love this product. It has Sika in it and it smells so natural, so good, so aromatherapy. The Sika Toner 
color is free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, and of course, it's cruelty free. Sika is going to be your best friend because it's supposed to help with any blemishes, any breakouts. There's fig fruit and persuade to provide antioxidants and anti inflammatory benefits, and it keeps your skin really hydrated. Then go ahead and put your favorite serum. I use the vitamin C serums because it helps to brighten my face, and especially I've been breaking out because of all the mask that we have to wear. Your face is going to have to be really moisturized for the massages. You don't want to feel like it's like stuck. You want to feel it very glossy and moisturized. I pull up towards the sky. I concentrate on my left jaw because my left jaw is a lot bigger than on my right. This has really helped me to distribute and even my face out and just tone up my overall skin. Then I use the round edges to go down my eye area and then use it to pull up my smile lines. As you guys can see, the shape here fits perfectly to my cheek area and then moving up towards my forehead area. Then what I like to do is go down my neck area. Again, make sure your neck area is very hydrated. I actually like to go up and down motion and I like to go down to my shoulder area and just massage there as well. You could also do it with your hands. I like to fold it like this and go down my eyes, go down my up under my nose area and then massage my forehead. I just massage it, massage it, massage it to loosen it up and just push it up towards. This part I don't do as much anymore but you guys can if you want. They used to do this a lot when I went to the professional facial massager in Korea where they actually try to shrink your face and it has proven to work actually. So I think two years later now my face shape just seems a lot smoother and I feel like it just look a lot healthier and brighter. It's also a mini version as well which I love to take this with me anywhere that I go. And when it's winter and fall your face gets super dry so I like to put this just on my purse and just spray it and hydrate my skin. Me Back is having a 50% off for these amazing toners for a limited time so go and check it out in the links down below and thank you to Me Back for sponsoring. Another big thing that I've changed is I've actually started yoga and meditation. This is me before I've done meditation. I'm serious. Meditation and yoga has changed me 180. But ever since I've started meditation and yoga, I have less stress. I don't have insomnia anymore and I'm just a lot happier. I'm calmer. I developed severe anxiety and panic attacks before and I haven't had those at all. Start meditating. I personally believe this might be again superstitious kind of thing but I believe hair means vitality and I personally believe hair is alive you guys. It's growing from your head. It is alive. And don't get me wrong. Try as many colors as you want. Do whatever crazy styles that you want but eventually I came back to healthy hair and I looked totally different. Especially because I had no volume in my hair, it's going to accentuate my uneven face shapes even more. And if you have volume in your hair, it's going to really make your face look overall balanced and it's going to cover that unevenness for you. So here's the dead hair me and here is the healthy hair me. The biggest thing is the way you take your photos and this one little trick is going to change your photos forever. What a lot of people do is they take their photos like this. And you do not want to take your photos slanted this way. You want to pull it down towards you. If you have anyone that is taking a photo for you or you're taking selfies, remember to always tilt your phone like this. Your body just looks elongated and your face or head looks a little smaller, making yourself look really proportioned. Another trick that you could do if you have an iPhone, you want to turn on the wide angle and then you want to actually turn your phone over and tilt it towards you like this. And you're going to have a really cool photos, especially if you want to capture the whole background. Background. Never ever do the turtleneck like this. Your face is going to look really weird. Remember to push it back and chin down like this. Another cool hack, especially if you do YouTube videos, first thing is lighting. My old videos have really poor lighting, so it makes me have like shadows on my face. But now you can see my lighting game has changed. I bought new lightings that makes the whole room brighter. You guys could change yourself by using accessories, clothing, it's just camera angles. It just changes your whole vibe and mood, and I think that is a surgery in itself. You gave your soul, you gave your body a surgery without actually going under the knife. Of course, at the end of the day, do whatever makes you happy. Let me know if there's any hacks that works for you. Leave a comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching and remember to check me back a Sika toner out. Bye!